yeah, there's different there's different things you look for, but you can't get too picky, and you sometimes you just gotta just roll with your gut feeling and you know hit the ground running and give it your best shot and try to make something happen and force their hand. I definitely like that, and and I have a theory um, that I'd love your feedback on because because uh, you've been through both scenarios. Uh, but let me let me pose it for you. And as far as a path to the big leagues, basically pick between having a younger team at the major league level where they may not be so quick uh, to send the guy back down, uh, but you're up there on the depth chart, or a win now experienced team where somebody like you they might look at and, and think you'll you know they'll, they'll know exactly how you'll handle a spot that they need you in. Um, and they won't have to rush maybe someone else into that spot um, who's not ready. Uh, so which going in presents a better path? Because you were in that spot in 16 uh, with the Yankees and then in uh, 2017 with Atlanta, uh, where I guess I may answer the question, but it did turn out that you got your, your longest extended look at the major league level. But going in, uh, is there any merit there? Um, there is, but it, it depends – it really depends on how the front office uh, goes about it. Um, it are the, is the veteran team. If you're a veteran, it's probably might be best to be on a, a contending team. You know, someone who's kind of been there and done that. You're not necessarily throwing a a young kid in the in the fire with trying to play meaningful games. Some teams are, some teams will do that, which is okay. But some teams don't. When I was at Kansas City. I remember being having a repeat double A at 25 because I was technically too young. Like I was young. So the youngest got out on our 40 man at the time. So, um, so in that situation, it didn't really, you know, it didn't work out for me uh, as far as getting a, a look there. And, but honestly, it just, it depends. Every organization is different. Some, some will just throw their young guys into it and, you know, let them go after it. And some kind of want the, the experience. Uh, they want the, the experience on their team. And so that, that comes into play when you're signing too. It's, you know, how, how have teams, what does the team's track record look like when it comes to promotions? Are they contending when they contend? Do they call up guys with experience or they just, or they call up, uh, the, they give their prospects a shot. So all it, every team's different. Um, so that's something that when we start picking out teams and you know weighing where we want which way we want to go, you those are the questions you ask and you ask yourself. 